Instead of a flat rectangular scoreboard that's hard to see from every seat, they're breaking with tradition. Designing an ingenious scoreboard that stretches 1,100 feet right around the opening of the stadium roof. It will be made up of 1,848 massive flat screen cabinets, each carefully angled to create the curve. Called a halo board, fans will be able to see this 62,000 square foot scoreboard from any seat in the house. Now that the towers are out, you can see the curvature of the video halo. You can see the steel trusses that support the video halo. So the scale of this is just gigantic. It's the biggest scoreboard in sports. But the sheer size of the scoreboard creates a unique problem for Erlen. If we tried to use traditional uh, flat screen technology for the halo board, it would be twice as heavy as what we have uh, designed for now. The solution is being developed 1,200 miles away in South Dakota. We have not been asked to design or manufacture anything like the halo display before. Toby Pulsha has spent two years designing special lightweight screens that will fit together to form the scoreboard. The definition is similar to what you would see at home. It's a high definition display, except that you'll be sitting several hundred feet from the actual screen. To create a high definition video image the length of three football fields, Toby can't use traditional LCD flat screen technology. We had to modify our standard way of doing things to fit the requirements in terms of power and weight. To build this screen, he will use 37 million light-emitting diodes, LEDs, almost halving the weight compared with flat screen technology. Essentially, your imagination is the only thing that limits the, the design and the size and the scope of LED displays. Each LED has a fixed color, red, green, or blue. By grouping these three colors together, Toby creates a pixel. By driving those LEDs at different intensities, making them brighter or dimmer, we can effectively produce any color imaginable. 864 LEDs make up one 14 by 14 inch panel. 23 panels are installed into one halo board cabinet. So one option is that we could make the cabinets out of steel, but weight is a big factor. And steel is a lot heavier than aluminum. So using an aluminum cabinet saves on weight and saves on shipping costs and saves money overall. Before the halo board can be shipped to Atlanta, the panels are put through hell. It's important to test our components that they're going to stand up to those vast temperature changes, rain, snow, because we do not want them breaking down at key moments during the big show. Vibrations caused by the sliding roof could take their toll on the screen. What we're doing is making sure that that display will be able to withstand the opening and closing of the roof. Once tested, the 1,848 cabinets that make up the scoreboard need wrapping and packing for the long trip south. With the cabinets now on site, the team must bolt them together into 14-foot high blocks. No let out. We got to go full, full speed ahead, make our deadline. Installing the 616 sections of the screen will take great skill. We have a crew of about 15 guys. So when a section comes to them, they'll grab it, set it in place very carefully, and then they'll bolt them together. And once they get it all aligned, we'll get it welded in place.
on the face of, of course, you have the LEDs, so they can get damaged very quickly if you're not very careful. As the three and a half thousand ton retractable roof closes, the steel holding the halo board will move and flex. The delicate LED cabinets could be crushed together, damaging the screen. So the team has engineered eight ingenious expansion joints into the halo board structure. As the roof slides and the steel holding the halo board bends, the joints absorb the movement, protecting the vast screen. So we have one of our eight expansion joints here, roughly two and a half inches. When the steel moves, the cabinets will be able to move in tandem with that and not crash into each other. We're going to feel really good once we get this one complete. I don't think I'll ever uh, work on another job like this. This is definitely one of a kind. This team must bolt 30 screen sections into place each day to stay on track. They're expecting to see the fans in here real soon. Next thing you know, you'll have grass on the field, I guess. 